Hey, what's up you guys, it's Mike Nardi here. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how long it could take to get your first order as a seller on Fiverr. You see, I've been making videos for this YouTube channel for just over a year now, and one of the most common questions sellers like yourself ask me is, Mike, how long will it take to get my first sale on Fiverr. So that's exactly what I'm gonna show you in this video. So to answer that question for you, I actually did a bit of an experiment. A few months back, I created a brand new gig that was different than most gigs that I typically offer on Fiverr. Basically, I created a gig where I'd be offering services to write gig descriptions for other Fiverr sellers. I thought it was something that complemented what I think I'm pretty good at as a Fiverr seller, and also something that was different enough uh, from what I offer with regards to sales and email marketing, that it could be a good representation of how long this will actually take. Now, bear in mind, I'm a level two seller who does pretty high volume of orders on Fiverr and I have over 400 completed orders. So it's not gonna be an exact representation compared to what a brand new seller might experience. But I think it's a good indicator. And you'll be shocked to find out by the end of this video that the results and how fast it took was absolutely not something I was expecting. So it's gonna be exciting, watch till the end and I hope this is really helpful. All right, now just before I share the screen here and I show you that gig that I created to run this little experiment, make sure you're liking this video and subscribing to the channel. It just takes a quick second, hit the like button, you know, hit it wherever it is and subscribe to the channel. It helps me get these video out to more people who might be interested in selling on Fiverr and I really appreciate it. Back to the video. All right, so the first thing I did when creating the gig to use for this uh, example was I covered a couple of the basics that I cover in some of my other videos. Some of the basics that me and every other Fiverr seller should go through to make sure you're doing everything you can to give your gig the best chance of success. And what that boils down to is these four things. I made sure that I picked a gig subject line that I thought was gonna work. I, one that I thought was as strong from an SEO perspective and was descriptive enough so people knew what I was selling. The second thing I did was I tried to think about a thumbnail that would get people to click, something that would build trust and entice people to click the first time they saw it in Fiverr search. The third thing is I took quite a bit of time brainstorming and coming up with a gig description that I thought was gonna be descriptive packed with keywords, you know, perform well in Fiverr search and ultimately help me convert those people that find their way to my gig. And the last thing was I brainstormed and did some research on some Fiverr gig tags that I thought would really, really work. So here's what the gig looked like. I'm gonna flip over to a screen share to show you that and I'll walk you through it and we'll talk about it in just a second. All right, so here's the gig. Um, like I mentioned, it's a gig where I write Fiverr gig descriptions for other sellers. Yeah, you know, If you're new to the channel, you'll know that I'm a, a copywriter. Typically, I focus on sales, marketing, and website copy and content for you know small businesses around the world. Um, so I picked this as the gig for this experiment because you know I think it's pretty complementary to skills that a copywriter like myself might already possess, um, but it's also different enough so I could try to get a good indication of how quickly uh, a newer seller might. Um, be able to get an order based on how long it took me with this gig. So starting with the subject line or the gig title, uh, the gig title is I will write Fiverr gig descriptions that sell. So the focus in the title was the keyword phrase Fiverr gig descriptions. So I did some research and I, I didn't find as many sellers as I thought I would find selling this service. So I figured that if I targeted that keyword phrase, uh, I'd probably show up in search for a good chunk of the um Fiverr sellers and potential clients that might be looking for this type of service. So I thought the subject line I picked was pretty descriptive and, you know, putting that sell at the end, I think, um, adds to the descriptive nature of the, um, of the gig title. You know, I'm going to sell you a Fiverr gig description. That's going to help you sell more plain and simple. So moving down here to um, the thumbnail. So I tried something different from what my other thumbnails on my other gigs are like. So typically I do text only thumbnails. Uh, they've been very effective for me because I think they're straight to the point and are informative enough to give people an idea of what the gig includes without having to click through. But for this one, I figured I would use my face to kind of do some testing to see if this works better. 
So just a standard picture of myself here. Um, at the top there, Fiverr gig description is kind of the focus of the gig. Uh, and then I just put some key points about it. So all my gig descriptions are sales focused. Obviously, you know, the people buying these gigs want to get more sales on Fiverr. They're SEO optimized, which is kind of the value add I bring to the table because I have a little bit of an understanding on SEO. And they should be effective based on the fact that I, my gigs are effective as a fiber seller. So that's what I went with with um, for the thumbnail. And honestly, it was pretty effective. You know, I mentioned earlier that, um, or sorry, I'll mention this later in the video, that uh, for the first little while with this gig, I was hovering around 10 impressions per day and a couple clicks, a couple clicks per day for a brand new gig, in my opinion, is really, really good. So I was happy with that. Moving down to the gig description. So this is kind of the money maker here um, with most people's gigs. So my focus here was to kind of tell a short, a, tell a story for the buyer. You know, I, whoever's reading this, I want them to be to know who I am, to know why they might want to hire me, and to get excited about the the prospect of working with me on this project. And I, I did all this while focusing on the keywords I wanted to focus on. So I'll read this out to you, and you can let me know what you think in the comments. I'm a fiber seller that specializes in copywriting services with a heavy focus on sales and marketing. Over the past year and a half, I've completed over 350 orders, have hundreds of five-star ratings, and pride myself on the quality of work I deliver to my clients. With this gig, you can hire me to write a Fiverr gig description for you to use to sell your own services on Fiverr. I'll use my Fiverr knowledge to write a gig description that helps you attract more buyers, increase the number of inquiries you're receiving, and ultimately make more money as a freelancer. If you hire me, here's what you can expect. A professional Fiverr gig description, a professional Fiverr gig title, advice and tips from an experienced Fiverr seller, and a description written, written with SEO in mind to help you get more gig impressions. That's all I wrote. And to be quite honest, I think this has proven to be very effective. This first portion here is where I focused on highlighting myself, my accomplishments, and you know why they should trust me, kind of like the social proof aspect of you know why me, why now. The second portion, I just kind of sold them on the gig, you know, how I'm gonna do it for them and what they can expect. And the last part, and this is kind of uh, a little copywriting strategy I've been using lately is including a bulleted list. So I find that um, we're so accustomed to reading blogs and searching the internet for stuff that when you see bullets or a numbered list, your eyes are kind of drawn to it. So I made sure to include key key aspects of this service and this gig in this portion here so that when they scrolled through, they would look at it and they'd be left you know, remembering what I can help them with to help entice them to purchase this gig from me. So kind of moving down, um, this is what I include. I included some gig extras as well. So like I would, you know, focus on different keywords, do some research for an extra cost. I would do some competitor research if they wanted. And like most of my gigs, if you want an extra revision from me, you're going to pay for it because I don't work for free. So I included my extra revision there. And moving down, these were the tags I used. Fiverr help, Fiverr gig tags, Fiverr sales, Fiverr gig, and gig description. Uh, these were two of the three buyers that actually left a rating, which is awesome. You know, one guy from Bulgaria and one guy from India, both awesome people to work with. Um, yeah, and so far the gig's been going pretty well. So we'll flip back over to the video in just a second. All right, so that gig looked pretty good, right? Subject line was pretty good. Uh, thumbnail was pretty good. Description was good. And tags, pretty good, right? Here's when I created that gig. So I launched that gig on August 14th, 2020. August. So we're at the end of October now. Now, a lot of people who comment asking how long it takes to get their first order on Fiverr often are pretty impatient. You know, I have people messaging me saying, Hey, Mike, it's been five days, no order. Mike, it's been two weeks, no order. Mike, it's been a month, still no orders. And the advice I keep telling them is to be patient, be persistent, keep doing the right things, and good things will come. So, again, for me, I launched that gig on August 14th. Can you guess how long it took before I got my first order? So it didn't take me a week. It didn't take me two weeks. It didn't take me a month. That order came in on October 8th, 2020. It took me almost two months. That's two months to get my first order on a gig as someone who has over 400 orders and tons of past clients. So let that put that in perspective for you. It took me two months, two months, but that first gig was for 40 bucks. So. Took me some time, 
but it paid off because I took the time to build the gig in a way you know that I thought was gonna be effective, and I just let it sit there for two months and it ended up performing. Here's what the last two months of gig statistics look like for that gig. All right, so you can actually filter back six months now on Fiverr, which is awesome. So just going down to this gig here. So in the last six months, I've gotten a thousand impressions, 84 clicks and three orders. So like I mentioned in the video earlier, I started this gig on the 15th of August. I updated all my stuff there. Most days, you know, it's hovering around like 10 impressions. And then in October, it kind of spiked up and then kept steady at around 20 impressions. Clicks wise, anywhere from like zero or one click a day to like three clicks per day with the occasional, I got one day with four clicks. Pretty, pretty consistent, I'd say. And then when we look at orders, boom. October 10th was when I got my first, but then I got three orders back to back. Uh, so that just goes to show how inconsistent and strange Fiverr can be, right? So I waited two months, but then I was rewarded in a span of three days uh, when I got those first three orders. What I'll point out, for the first little while, I was only hovering around 10 impressions per day on that gig, and anywhere from you know zero to three clicks. 10 impressions per day, but I didn't change anything. And I, I, I'm telling you this because I think it should be a lesson to anyone who's getting antsy about how long it's taking to get their first order. Do the right things to set up your gig properly. If you're confident that you have a solid gig with solid keyboard, keywords and a solid thumbnail, just wait and let Fiverr do its thing. If you're picking a niche that people are actually searching for, things will happen. So it took me almost two months. I started around about 10 impressions per day, but just under that two month mark, I got my first order. Now here's the crazy thing. It took me two months to get that first order, right? Approximately two months. October 8th is when I got it. The second order came in on October 10th and the third order came in on October 12th. Do you see how crazy that is? Fiverr is unpredictable. So if you're someone out there and you're getting antsy, let this be a lesson to you. Good things take time on Fiverr. Focus on doing the right things to set your gig up for success and take your foot off the gas pedal for that one. Focus on something else. If you're trying to get orders through organic search on Fiverr, you gotta let the Fiverr algorithm do its thing, right? After two, three months, if, if you haven't gotten anything, consider tweaking or modifying things. But if you notice that over that period of time, your impressions are going up and your clicks are going up, just leave it. You're, you're gaining that momentum and traffic. It's gonna take time. But you see how crazy that was? It took almost 60 days to get that first order. Second order came two days after that, and the last order came, or the third order came two days after that one. So three orders in a span of like four days, but it took me 60 days to get there. I'm really glad I didn't change anything because who knows, maybe those people who found me might not have found me if I tweaked the SEO of the gig, right? So if this video teaches you anything, it should be to be patient. Patient, but also persistent, right? Fiverr takes time. This channel can help arm you with the information you need to set yourself up to have a solid gig with a solid thumbnail, solid description, all that jazz. But it's up to you to do two things. First, you need to learn the skills you need to learn to be able to offer those gigs. And second, you need to have the mental staying power to stick with it so that you can you know, pull through um, you know, and get that gig when it comes in, right? Like for me, on a brand new gig, as someone who has many orders under his belt, it took me almost two months. So if it's taking you two months or more as a new seller, don't let it discourage you. Don't give up. You know, there's things you can do. You can create other gigs. You can tweak your gigs over time. Uh, you can work on uh, acquiring new skills to sell as other gigs. There's a bunch of stuff you can do, but just don't give up. If you give up, you'll never get that first order and you'll never succeed on Fiverr. I know you can do it. There's nothing special about me and I started a pretty successful business on Fiverr for myself. And I think if you have the drive and tenacity to do it yourself, you can do the same. So stick with it, You know, leave a comment and let me know how long it took for you to get your first gig and whether or not this video was helpful. I'm really excited to hear from you and to you know see how successful you're able to be on the Fiverr platform. So until next time, cheers.